For this tutorial you'll need your selected yarn, some scissors, your crochet hook which is the correct size for your yarn and a darning needle. So in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make these super cute little love hearts. You can use any yarn that you wish and every yarn that you use, if it's obviously a thicker yarn, will make a bigger heart and the smaller or thinner your yarn and the hook that you use, the smaller your heart will be. So these two hearts here were made with a 4mm crochet hook and then we've got this one here which is, I've actually done a double one um, so the one in the centre is done again using a 4mm crochet hook but the outer heart is actually a super chunky yarn made with a 12mm hook so it's exactly the same process and it will create these lovely hearts so to start with you want to make your slip knot however this time you're going to need to leave quite a long tail and um, you'll see why we need that a bit later on and um, so if you want to go ahead and make your slip knot so you simply pop the yarn over your finger like this and then hold the tail end between those two fingers pop the yarn over your finger again and hold between the fingers and then yarn over the top and pull up slightly and then you can just insert your hook and then pull on the long end and there we go so to start this project we want to do a chain of four so yarn over and pull through that's one yarn over and pull through again that's two yarn over pull through that's three and yarn over pull through that's four now I'm using a, a chunky yarn just for this tutorial simply because it's a little bit easier to see the stitches that I'm going to be working into but we're actually going to do all of our work so every single stitch that we do is going to be into this bottom chain here nearest to the slip knot that you did at the beginning so to start we are going to do a double treble now that's in UK terms if you were in the US that would simply be a treble and to do a double treble you want to yarn over your hook once and then yarn over your hook again so that's twice and then we're going to insert our hook into this very first chain here right next to the knot where we started so you'll insert and then you will yarn over and pull up a loop and you have now got four loops on your hook and you want to yarn over and pull through the first two loops on your hook and then yarn over pull through the next two loops on the hook and then we're left with two loops and then once again you're going to yarn over and pull through two so you've got your chain here which would be a chain three and then you've got your double treble remember that's the UK term in the US that would simply be a treble and we're going to do now two more double trebles so yarn over twice and insert again into that first chain right there next to the slip knot and then yarn over and pull up and we've got our four loops once more and then we're going to yarn over pull through the first two loops and yarn over pull through the next two loops and we're left with two loops now and then yarn over and pull through those two loops and we're going to do that one more time so another double treble so yarn over yarn over and insert again into that first chain and yarn over and pull up so we've got our four loops yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so we've now got our chain three our three double trebles and we're going to move on now to trebles again that's the UK term if you were in the US that this would be a double so we're going to do now 
three trebles. So yarn over once and insert again into that chain at the bottom and yarn over, pull up, so we've got three loops yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two so that's our first treble we're going to do it again, so yarn over insert and pull up your loop and that's three loops on your hook yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two so that's two trebles and we need one more so yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. And now we need to create the point of our heart at the bottom and to do that we're going to do another double treble or treble in the US. So yarn over twice again like this and insert into that same hole, yarn over and pull up and once again we've got our four loops and yarn over, pull through two three loops on the hook yarn over, pull through two that's two loops on the hook and yarn over, pull through two and that is the first half of our heart and now we're simply going to do a mirror image back up the other side so we're going to do our three trebles or your doubles in the US, so start your first treble, yarn over and insert and yarn over, pull up and we've got our three loops yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two and we're going to do another treble so yarn over and insert and three loops, so yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two, you might need to just pull down slightly to pull them around that chain just so that they all fit in. So that's our two trebles and we need one more so yarn over and insert and pull up, we've got our three loops yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's our three trebles or your doubles in the US and now once again we're going to do our three double trebles so for your double treble you want to yarn over twice and insert and pull up so we've got our four loops yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two so we're going to do that two more times so yarn over twice and insert and pull up and then yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two and we just need one last double treble so yarn over twice and insert yarn over and pull up, we've got our four loops yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two and now we need to do a chain of three so one, two three and then we're going to insert our hook one last time into this centre hole where we've been working all of our stitches and we're simply going to do a slip stitch so you're going to insert your hook and pull the yarn through and then you're going to pull that through the loop on your hook just like that and then we're going to just fasten off here so to do that you just want to yarn over and just pull through your loop and then just grab your scissors and snip off and then just pull the tail end out and that's it, that is your super simple heart but now we just need to tighten up this middle circle here just a little bit so to do that you want to find your tail end from where we started off, you don't want to work this with where we've just fastened off at the top here it needs to be the one right next to the hole just there ok so I've just threaded up my yarn here and what you want to do is simply work this yarn weave it in all the way around this circle 
here that you can see. So it doesn't have to be super neat or super accurate but just work it through. Like this and just carry on working your way around. And that's a little bit here. can be a little bit stiff purely for the amount of stitches that we've worked around there. So once you get back to the top you can just slip your needle off and then you just want to hold it in the centre here and the tail end that you've just weaved all the way around you're just going to give it a sharp, quite a tough pull. There we go and a little bit more. And when you turn it back over you can just see that that's just pulled the centre of our heart closed a little. So that's that bit done and now we just need to weave in the tail end from the top of our heart and just weave it down. I like to weave it down around that circle a little just like this and just give it a gentle pull, not too much because you don't want to pull the dip of your heart down too severely. <laughs> And then we're just going to snip off our tails. There's one and there's two. And that is it, that is your completed, your completed heart. Like I said, it was really, really simple. You can work them up in just a couple of minutes and you can use exactly the same principle to create all of your different sizes, just changing the thickness of your yarn. So I really hope you've enjoyed this new tutorial. If you have, just give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to leave any comments, I can always get back to you if you have any questions. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.